Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at a definite integral of a piecewise function. And this piecewise function is actually a straight line for x between negative 2 and 0. So that's like this straight line, you know, over here. And then from 0 to 2, it's this parabola opening down that actually intersects the x-axis right here at 2. So this is like 2 right here, and then over here this is negative 2. And we want to find the area under this curve. That, that's what the definite integral of a positive function can be represented as. It's a positive area under the curve. So we want to find the solution. Um, we want to basically do the integral. So the integral from negative 2 to 2 of f of x depends on where we are. So if our if our bounds are between negative 2 and 0, we need to use the part of the function that is 2. So this integral from negative 2 to 2, f of x dx, can be broken up intermediately as the integral from negative 2 to 0, f of x dx, plus the integral from 0 to 2, f of x dx. And we basically do this because we want to break it up depending on where our pieces are. So our pieces change at x equals 0, so we're going to use that as our intermediate point to break up this integral. And so this integral is going to become the integral from negative 2 to 0. Well, what is f equal to on this interval? Well, it's equal to 2, so 2 dx plus integral from 0 to 2, 4 minus x squared dx. So depending on where you are, it determines what piece of the function you use. So basically, this first integral is representing this first area, a1 we'll call it. So a1 for area 1 is the first integral, so a1 is this first integral. a2 is the second integral, it's going to be the second area over here. So this area a2 is basically the part that's under the parabola. So now all we have to do is just do the integration using the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2. So basically just find an antiderivative. So 2x from negative 2 to 0 plus 4x minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 2. So we're finding antiderivatives here and then plugging in the bounds. So this uh, first one is going to become 2 times 0 minus negative 2 plus 4 times 2 minus 1 third times 2 cubed minus 0 plus 0. So just plugging in those bounds. All right, so this becomes 2 times 2 just 4 plus, and then here we have 8 minus, and then 2 cubed is 8, so that's 8 thirds. So 4 plus 8 minus 8 thirds, that's 12 minus 8 thirds, which is 36 minus 8 thirds, or 36 over 3 minus 8 over 3, which is 28 over 3, and that's our answer. So that would be the area under the curve. So that's how we integrate a piecewise function. We just break it, break the integral up into the bounds that have different pieces and then use those pieces over those subintervals.